Unlocking the soundscape. Understanding. Set the EQ. Hello, language enthusiasts and sound adventurers. Today, we're diving into a phrase that often buzzes around music studios and audio settings. Set the EQ. This expression may sound technical, but don't worry, we're here to break it down for you. Whether you're an aspiring musician, a podcast creator, or just curious about sound engineering, understanding this phrase will enhance your auditory arsenal. So, let's turn up the volume on our learning and decode what it means to set the EQ. EQ stands for equalization in the audio world. It's all about balancing different frequency components of sound. Imagine sound as a multi-layered cake, with each layer representing a different frequency. Some layers may be too thick, too loud, or too thin, too soft. Setting the EQ is like adjusting the thickness of each layer to create a perfect balance. When someone says, set the EQ, they're essentially talking about adjusting these frequencies to achieve a desired sound quality. This could mean reducing background noise, emphasizing a speaker's voice, or making music sound more vibrant. You can find EQ settings in various places. Music production software. This is where artists sculpt their sound to perfection. Home audio systems. Adjusting the EQ can make movies more immersive or music more enjoyable. Car stereos. Ever noticed how different cars have different sound qualities? EQ settings play a big part in this. Smartphones and listening devices. Yes, even your earbuds might have EQ settings to play with. Understanding how to set the EQ is a handy skill in our increasingly digital and audio-focused world. Setting the EQ properly can have a profound impact on the listener's experience. Improves clarity, voices become crisper, and each instrument can be heard distinctly. Enhances enjoyment, music feels richer, and movies become more gripping with the right sound settings. Prevents fatigue, poorly equalized sound can be tiring to listen to for extended periods. By learning to adjust the EQ, you can take control of your audio content's impact on your audience. I hope this explanation strikes a chord with your quest for better sound understanding. Remember, whether you're dealing with a mix, a movie, or just your morning podcast, knowing how to set the EQ can make all the difference. Keep experimenting with those sliders and knobs, and you'll not only hear but also feel the improvement in your audio experiences. Thank you for tuning in, and may your next audio adventure be perfectly balanced.